Hi, welcome to Vic's Great Deals. Today we're going to discuss uh, what to do when you keep getting the low on memory error. Um, I'm going to teach you how to install another uh, maintenance tool to help you with this, just in case your raw maintenance is not helping and you're still getting the same error. So the first you want to do, first thing you want to do is when you get into Kodi, you want to go over to your system. You go down to File Manager. And what you're going to do is you're going to select Add Source. And this window will pop up. Okay, what you're going to do is in that where it says None, you're going to type in the following. HTTP colon I got this thick flare light coming from my there we go HTTP colon forward slash forward slash X F like Frank I N I T Y dot x u n i t y t a l k dot c o m you're going to type that in in the path and then at the bottom you're going to go down to where it says enter a name for this media source and you're going to call it xfinity x f i n i t y so that's what you want to type inside there okay so basically that's what you want to do. And then you're gonna select okay. Once you select okay, then you're gonna go out back to the main screen in Cody again. And you're gonna select system. And you're gonna select add-ons. Then you're going to select install from zip file. And you're gonna go down to that Xfinity that you added and you're going to select it. Okay? And then you're going to go down to xunity talk underscore repository dot zip. And you're going to select that. All right? So it'll install that and then once it installs you'll see a little box come up saying that it has been um, add-on has been updated right there like in the corner that you see on my screen in the bottom right uh, right side of the corner okay once that's done you're gonna go up to install from zip um, from repository and you're gonna see XUnity talk repository so you're gonna find that select it then you're gonna go down to program add-ons select program add-ons and then you're going to go down to XUnity Maintenance, and you're going to actually enable it. So select it and then enable it. Mine's already enabled, so I don't have to do that. So you're going to select it and then enable it, okay? Once it's enabled, you're going to go out and go over to your program. Select Programs. Oh, my God. Why are they doing the lawn right now? totally doing a lot right now so then you're gonna go to program add-ons oh why is it so fuzzy okay you're gonna go to program add-ons then you're gonna go over to XUnity maintenance select that and then you're gonna go over to X unity talk maintenance let's see if I can get this to clear up a little bit there we go X unity talk maintenance you can select it then you're going to go down and you're going to clean your stick like you did with raw maintenance, except here there's more options to clean. So you're going to first clean and delete your crash logs. Select yes. And you're going to delete your packages. And it may take a while for you to get through this since you have a pretty full situation going on. Um, so just give it a little bit of time to do that. Then you're going to delete my cache. 
there. Then you're gonna go up and do something that you don't have the option in raw maintenance as well, and it's clean your video music library. So select that. And you're gonna uh, clean your music first. Then you're gonna clean your videos. And that's gonna take a while, okay? It'll take a while. So when you select okay, it'll take a while. I'm not gonna do it. Oh darn it, I didn't mean to do it, but I did. <laughs> so anyway, it's gonna take a while to clean. I'm not gonna uh, hold this video for that long uh, regarding this, because it, it definitely takes a little while to clean up your video libraries. Once you do that, this should help eliminate your, uh, your low on uh, memory era with your fire stick. Okay, so hopes this helps, and thank you again for watching us. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subs click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We definitely always have very helpful and instructional videos to walk you through a lot of uh, errors or problems that we have with our customers. Um, and definitely, if you're our customer and you're still having an issue with this and it's still not clean, you're going to probably have to send it back to us so we can reload it for you. All right. And of course, you would have our customer service number down either in the video description or in your emails that we send to you um, just for the gift of your business. And on top of that, uh, anybody else new watching, you can always order from us down in our uh video description we have how to order from us um and we also want you to subscribe so that you can get updated videos as we come out with them Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching have a great day actually make a great day goodbye